the compressors of this refrigeration plant maintain the evaporation pressure at minus 5.8 psi. In these conditions, a leakage causes air to enter the circuit because it skips below atmospheric pressure. The moisture contained in the air is miscible in ammonia. It increases the water content of the refrigerant. This causes, among other things, an increase in the pressure temperature relationship. In order to remove the water contained in the ammonia, a dehydrator equipped with an exchanger is placed on the low pressure circuit. It rectifies the water content of the ammonia due to the distillation of the refrigerant by the exchanger fed with hot gases. The ammonia vapors return to the low pressure receiver, unlike the water which is trapped in the dehydrator, because its evaporation temperature is much higher than that of ammonia. In order to visualize the physical process that takes place in our dehydrator, we will carry out an experiment with a transparent exchanger instead of our receiver. The hot gases are replaced by glycol water and the pump allows the circulation of the hot glycol in the exchanger. The anhydrous ammonia, coded S717, is taken directly from a refrigerant cylinder. No liquid evaporates from the beaker because its latent heat of vaporization is very high. That means a large amount of heat is required to vaporize it. Compared to water, liquid ammonia is much lighter, about 65 grams per 100 milliliters. Therefore, 150 milliliters is needed to get 100 grams of fluid. Its evaporation temperature at atmospheric pressure is minus 33 degrees Celsius, which is minus 28 degrees Fahrenheit. To obtain 9% water content in the ammonia, 10 grams of water is taken from another beaker. A deep tube is used to add the water into the ammonia to avoid splashing. The evaporation temperature of this mixture is minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 6 degrees Fahrenheit higher than pure ammonia. The mixture is placed in the dehydrator to separate the water from the ammonia by distillation. The vapors product do not contain water and return to the low-pressure receiver in our refrigeration plant. The liquid level in our heat exchanger decreases. The mixture becomes concentrated in water and its temperature gradually increases. When the mixture reaches ambient temperature, the evaporation of ammonia is completed. By taking the remaining fluid contained in our dehydrator, we see that we have found the 10 milliliters of water that we had added at the beginning of the experiment. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon for new adventures.